All right, are we back? This is the last stream of the day. <laughs> Honestly, I've been quite impressed with how long it's been lasting. It has been lasting like pretty good, hasn't it today? We had a one hour and f we had 55 minutes and we had an hour and 53 and an hour 28. Not bad. All right, I think we're almost done, so we're going to keep going and finish it. The gatekeeper's going to eat you up. Eat me up? Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice, since, you know, I'm still working on that. See if I'm getting all the strokes right. The proper Strokes. composition, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Forget about it. All right. Here we go. Gatekeeper! Before you stands the soul of a great man. Now, would you describe yourself as a happy kid or a lonely one? Shit. Um, okay, this isn't about me, though. A, uh... A jovial child. I think he was pretty lonely, this Benny guy. He was His pretty lonely. He was a lonely one. Growing up as a strange, quiet child in an isolated seaside town. And, uh, what would you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? My mom was a composer. His mother was a composer who with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. Now, how would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? She was pretty Kinda demanding. Like Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was over demanding, forcing him to practice day in and day out hoping that he might one day achieve that greatness that she never could. And how about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Was she your best friend or your first love? My Maybe first love. But we on love the Chloe. eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball. Staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. Now, from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium. That's what I said from the beginning. He's a drawer, he's an artist. See? When he was 12 years old, he got sick, and he had to stay inside for an entire An entire year, year yep. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten. Painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. Now be quiet, follow me. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which yeah, turned out bankruptcy. to be a blessing. For it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said, shut up, you, you scum dolls, you mucky fowls. What the hell is happening? All right, I get it. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. What the hell is happening? I'm confused. I had assumed as much anyway. I should probably tell you, those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. 
They're what becomes of souls who tried to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. What? I wasn't lying. I'm feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Did I lie about something? Oh, yeah. Good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Hopefully you won't be seeing him again. I didn't lie. What the hell is happening? <clears throat> You're a flea bitten sap. You know that? Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. What? What did I do? What did I do? What the? What the hell? I don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid what eyes on you. What did I do? What, what did I do? But it's too late for that. We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm going to ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, did I, I want lie the about truth. something? What is happening? Not this. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Come on, keep blinking. I I, I haven't oh. found it yet. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Where are we starting? I don't get it. Told me. He said to this. keep blinking. Stay here. Stay here. What did your mother hear on that phone call? Getting it. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. <gasps> oh. Elle, what is it? She knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Oh, he passed away. Let's keep going. Oh, shit. My mom. I really need to stay in time with the metronome. My mom, my mom never got to live up her to her dad's expectations, so she put the expectation on me. I'm okay. You were a prodigal talent. I get it. Let's move. Eternally indebted. What did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. I need you to stay focused. I'm worried too. Yes, I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. But I love my cat. <gasps> yeah, what was this? What was this? This is fucking terrifying. Suddenly it's a horror game. <gasps> Why is there blood? Is that the cat's dying? Are my cats getting eaten? What the fuck is this? The 
death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. That simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work to make yourself sensational. Did my mom throw those cats outside the door? I know you want to stay here, man, but we don't have the time. What the hell happened to those cats? I'm not worried about who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who you're going to become. I get all this. We need to move. Hey, Elle, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? This what was Come I on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. You... <gasps> we can focus in the trees. Staying engaged. I want to hear what they're saying, man. This isn't doing anything. I mean, what's the point? I mean, what's the point? I mean, what's the what's the point? Point. Point. What am I supposed to do? What do you mean? What do you mean? What's the point? What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? If he's never going to get any better. Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? Am I still you know sick? No, we don't mean it. I know I don't. How I did I die? I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. I... It's okay. Was I always sick? He's asleep. It's okay. Did I, like, die shortly after my mom? I see. You got sick. You howled at the moon. At the top of your lungs. sick for a long time, weren't you? Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. What happened to me? This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Try writing with it. Ugh, I don't want to write. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Why can I not talk? Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. That's the story I want to hear. The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. <laughs> Crossed out the E. I spelt my name wrong. I'm a prodigy or whatever. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up and a strange and quiet child in an isolated seaside town. His mother was a composer who, with the need to support 
Her family took a job as an accountant. Okay, we'll skip the rest. <laughs> we know the story. Man, this is wild. You really got into this, didn't you? Oh, here I am. But on the eve oh, of shit. his big audition, he completely dropped the ball. Staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. First love? Okay, Benny. And you know, we really could have just slept on the beach another night. Oh, but shit. I didn't want her to read that. Give me You're that back. Going to be in there for about 30 minutes. So try to get comfy. Okay, I'm comfy. What am I sick with? But uh, why am I sick? With what? Knock knock. You're going to be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading loud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan of anything you do. I can't. Just go in there and tell him you loved it. I'm sorry, I just can't. Oh shit. My mom read it and heard the feelings about that I have about her. Go to bed. I'll talk to you. Hey, B. Just want you to know that mom loved your story. She's just, you know, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. But I, I thought it was great. Oh, shit. I mean, look at this. And then she ended up dying. Was a lonely one, growing up a strange and quiet child in an isolated seaside town. I mean, I mean I'm certainly bummed you feel that way. But what I want to know is, where'd you learn to write so well? All the... At least my dad's proud of me, man. Benjamin Brin was a loser. He was the worst Brin to ever live. He didn't even try to fight the disease inside him. What? He just laid down and died. I died? But I thought I lived and became an artist. I thought I survived and became an artist. I thought I had survived. So if he's ever in pain. So if he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand. It hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been... Uh, it's been a rough one. Red button, I need help. No one's helping me, man. My meds. Take my meds. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. Yes. I understand you have a business to run. It's a very <laughs> cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay. Well. Well, then I guess all I can say is screw you too. I said screw you too. Yeah, man. That's all I got. 
My dad quit his job? I need help. Help. Nobody's coming to help me. Chloe. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I happen to actually know about this stuff. So the fact that you are... Why does she think I'm faking? I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. I mean, not as tough as now, but yeah, her music had been rejected. And she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here. And I feared that yeah, I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano. And just your little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. figure out how to play that. I brought my mom back to me. Keep playing, B. She's listening. I'm like this sick child and my dad just wants me to bring mom back to him. Yo, bro, I'm fucking sick and you're making me sit here at the piano. I'm dying. Hmm. Just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. My cat. Oh, her poor fur. Richard, we have to give Ernie a haircut, okay? I'm getting her a sashimi plate. <laughs> what? What? I think she more than deserves My it. My cat's oh, back. Right. So happy. Oh god, the disease is taking me over. Twenty-nine missed calls. So I ignored Chloe. She hasn't been over. Like, she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. I ha Why didn't I tell her? Hmm. Oh my god, you're an idiot. Did my parents tell her? You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um, I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day and how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that, but. Hey. What are you looking at? The stars, bitch. Don't look up there. Look at me. I'm talking to you. 
I'm looking at the stars, bitch. Reach for the stars. Reach for the stars. Stay here. I want to give you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. What she close your eyes maybe? now. Okay. okay. Okay, I'm closing my eyes. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. That's how you get the girl, boys. You just gotta not talk to her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again? Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. I'm waiting. Well, it made me feel like... Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. Mm. Nailed it, didn't I? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good. Okay. Oh, I'm getting slow. I'm actually dying. I can't eat my sandwich. I, I can't do anything. Oh shit. Come on, take your meds, bro. I can't take my meds. I can't breathe. I know. I know. It, it's okay. Did I actually I not survive this? There's no need to show me anymore. No, Richard. Did I die? I'm so confused. I thought I became a famous artist. You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Ugh. I know just what to tell her. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. Okay. I should go get ready. I'll know Don't worry. her. We got this. Okay. I think. So what it's like to go to heaven? Um... What am I gonna see? I'm looking, I'm not seeing a whole lot of anything. Wish me luck. Is that my cat? I like... Gatekeeper! Before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. That means she's ready to hear your story. Okay. I'll tell you my story, kitty. Okay. You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. 
really so imaginative. And the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. My only issue was, well, I didn't like him very much. So I wanted to read you something I wrote for you, which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. It's called The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. <clears throat> Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought oh he wanted Oh my god, it was make-believe, oh shit. Which only made him forget the great life oh, he already on. had. How he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise. How he met a girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world and made her feel okay again. And how, even when he was sick, he still gave his parents hope. That's fucking sad. How he reminded them <laughs> exactly who they were. After they had almost It's just forgotten. a baby. So when he knew he was going to go, he was okay. Because he'd already lived a great life. A full life. And he was everything he needed to be. Just as he was. Yeah, Betty. Benny, you were perfect the way you are, man. You were fucking perfect the way you were, man. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> I'm an she empath. Accepts. Leave me alone. Close your eyes now. She accepted Keep them closed. me. The kitty queen. <laughs> She's gonna let you in. The kitty queen accepts me. I'm an empath. Why is he smiling like that? He must be somewhere that he likes. Aww. It's sad. I think just any child that dies young is so, it's just so sad. That's the end. Man, I want to be somebody it's dedicated to my father, the man who taught me how to play. Me two point oh, oh for look you. at that. This is a real fucking story, man. And when you meet somebody, I'm just kidding. It's, I don't think this is a real story, but he dedicated to his dad. It's sad. That's a really good game. I like that game. It was a nice sit back, relax, and just see the story type of game. And it makes you feel emotions, and it makes you it makes you think. It's a it makes you think, and it leaves you with a good message, you know. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna prove you wrong. about this all day I liked it a lot it is a really good game it's a very interesting concept I always let the credits roll let the credits roll people oh I'm so tired we get off. I don't really think I feel like playing. I, I don't think I can mentally play a game after that game. I kind of want to just go be brain dead the rest of the day and just get my work done in solitude by myself.
you'll be thinking we love pictures God this is a cute song Mesh by Ollie Lewis that's the name of the song that was a really good game I'm glad I played that I've been wanting to play it I knew it was going to be like a circle of life type of game it just gave me the impression Without the S. Pain. <laughs> that was a really good game. I loved that. Well, I'll probably get off as soon as the credits are done rolling. Um, I'll be back on tomorrow, though. I don't know. Tomorrow, I'll, I'll play something more intense. Now that we're done with Pokemon. But probably, I don't know. I kind of want to, I'm kind of craving some Hogwarts Legacy. I want to beat it. Last time we played, we haven't played in so long. I think we're still only like 30% done with the game. I enjoyed my stay. I'm glad you enjoyed your stay. It was a, it was a good one today. We accomplished our hopes and dreams today of completing the Pokédex, of course. And then we celebrated with a, a game that really made us think about our lives. And then tomorrow we'll be back to flicking our wands at creatures. <sighs> Why do I feel like I need a nap now? Gosh, this is a lot of people. Cuphead 2? <laughs> Cuphead 2. I would love to play Cuphead, but Audi's feeling EP. I am feeling EPs. I am EP. Hogwarts. Yeah, I think I kind of want to play Hogwarts tomorrow. I'm going to Universal over spring break. I'm going to be going to the real Hogwarts. So I gotta, I gotta, my goal, we gotta beat the game before then so I can be a true wizard. I was just there, really? I'm going there in March over my spring break. I haven't been there for a while. Well, I haven't been down to Orlando since freshman year. Um, <sighs> high school. I went and danced at the Outback Bowl. I was a dancer growing up. But I went and danced at the Outback Bowl my senior year at the halftime show. And yeah, we got to do some other fun stuff while we were there. I haven't been there since then. It's been a long time. It's almost been seven. This will be my seven years out of high school soon. So. Or no, eight, eight, five, six, seven. Yep. Which is insane. I feel like I just graduated high school. The light flashes before your eyes. That's the message of the day, guys. Gosh, that was such a good game. I love that game. I want to play it again. Is there like different endings to that game? Or is it just the one ending? All right. Well, uninstall. It's not like we're going to play that again. I don't want to cry again. Well, that was fun. That took us 102 minutes. That was a really good short game. You know what I'm saying? Just a perfect short little game. Not you tearing up in the game. I actually was crying. 
I had tears falling down my face. I was actually crying. I had, I teared up during the mom part, but I actually was crying at the end. I just wiped him off. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. I should be back tomorrow. Um, we'll play something tomorrow. I haven't quite decided yet, but we'll decide tomorrow. I'll see. I kind of like to see what I'm feeling, but I'll be back on tomorrow, probably around the same time as today. Kind of like mid morning and tomorrow's daylight savings, which is kind of nice. I'll get an extra hour of my weekend before I have to go see the gremlins on Monday. So anyways, I hope you guys had an enjoyable experience experience on the stream today and I will be back tomorrow. I'm going to go be brain dead for a while. All right. Peace. Goodbye.